Hey, welcome to the after show for the Suicide Prevention Punchline. Our guest today is comedian and would it be filmmaker, Adam? Video maker? How would you describe <laughs> videographer? I, like, I just I like writer. Writer. Okay. Like I write I write my own things and inevitably end up having to produce them. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> filmmaker. Uh, yeah, that sounds huge. Like yeah. filmmaker. Like <laughs> it does. I, I'd have to wear an ascot and a beret. I see. Be a filmmaker. <laughs> and what is what does your sweatshirt say? Is it Melvin? Oh, Melvin's Brewery. Oh, okay. Your favorite bar in yeah, San Diego, perhaps? Cause, uh... No, it's, uh, I do trivia there. Oh, now do you host the trivia or do you? I just... Yeah, I host a couple trivia shows a night. Okay. Uh, and a, I, week, a week. And a friend of mine does it. It actually pays money these days. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice little gig. You know, yeah. like I said, I do whatever pays the bills. Okay. Well, hey, listen, uh, you know, it's, you're a starving artist or no? Are you actually eating? Are you? I shouldn't be eating. Like, I eat more than I should. Uh, so, like, <laughs> like I'm a starving artist who eats because he's sad because he's starving. Yes. Well, you, know, you, you know what I've discovered, uh, Adam, is uh, alternative day fasting. It's a great way to save money on food. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 so, it's like, just one day, just every other day you don't eat? Yeah. Actually, I didn't eat for two days this week, and I ate. For 24 hours at which ended at 1230 today and I won't eat again until 1230 on Wednesday yeah I started the I intermittent you fasting. Celebrated Ramadan. I do I do it in short hours. bursts uh, not a month at a time but <laughs> three days two days four days a lot easier that way than a whole month in a crack mm-hmm. but uh yeah it's, it's uh it's hard a, enough for me to go the 15 hours of inter- inter- intermittent fasting yeah a lot of people do 16 8 16 hours fasting eight hours of eating so Anyway, long story, bodybuilding. I know, I'm 62, but. Yeah, no, I'm 45, trying to figure it out. I, I, I just did my first contest in October, came in third in Masters over 40. So I'm shooting for a higher. I got one in July coming up, shooting for a, a better uh, second place, uh, as you would say, the, a place of honor, second place. Oh, okay. Yep. So, Adam, we yeah. should. Uh... You should download My Fitness Towel and then we can be weight loss buddies. My Fitness Towels? No, My Fitness Pal. My Fitness Pal? Okay, I'll do that. I'll give you my username. It's probably okay. mentally Muslim. All right. I'll dump it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What is it called again? My Fitness Pal. Okay, got it. No, because uh, my trainer today was just talking to me. He's like, you should be at 185. I'm oh. like, that's 30 pounds heavier, lighter than what I have right now. You and weigh, like, yeah. you weigh two and what? Two fifteen. Man, you you carry that well. Yeah, so I hear. Yeah, like, Lord. No, no one sees. No one who says. No one says that after seeing me naked. Like they're like, oh, there it is. There it is. I couldn't. You wear black a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I came. I came with it. You know. It's. Uh... Yeah. No, I've been boxing. That's one thing. That's another thing that's just helped manage the depression is is being active. Yeah, I'll buy that. Yeah, so it's like on the darkest days, like I have a hard time getting started in the morning. Like I can stay in bed if I don't have to get up. I can stay in bed. For, I I've set records, but when yeah. I finally do get up, hit the gym, work out, you know, the endorphins get those going. You know start, what? You know. I like that phrase. Staying in bed, I set records. <laughs> it's kind of a, a I don't know, maybe my records can beat yours, Adam. We'll see. Thirty six hours straight. Oh, okay. Yeah, you beat me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you got me. Really, really okay. hard. I gotta tell you, I was napping this morning. I take a thirty minute nap meditation thing and I got a cat on my chest. We have lots of cats and the cat's sleeping on my chest. I thought, you know, I could just continue laying here for God, I don't know how long. I could just yeah. I could just stay here in the dark and yeah, yep. you're right. Sometimes it's hard to. Uh, I want, want your opinion on something, Adam. Uh, I think the camera loves Zara. Am I oh right? yeah, it gives a it gives oh, yeah. Oh my Way god! <laughs> <laughs> the I'm camera not even saying anything. The, no, 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 nothing, nothing to do with saying anything, Zara. The camera loves you. You look amazing on camera. Oh, I thought you meant that, like the window. Like, <laughs> 
No, this makes sense. Like when you no, talk, stop. your yeah. video comes up. Don't yeah. say your words anymore. And I don't talk. I don't I, say anything. Go I'm back like, to that. Like, like you know when Conan was leading Tonight Show, and then there was Andy Richter. Yeah. On the side, I'm like Andy Richter except worse, and that's quite the. <laughs> that's uh, not. That's that hilarious. Good. But anyway. No. I think. No, no, absolutely. The camera loves you. You look, you look amazing on camera. It's a good thing. It's you know, some people don't don't photograph well. Some people are you know are like super attractive in in real life. You t turn the camera on, you're like, oh, but. Uh, I am super unattractive in real life. No. The camera. No, you're attractive in real life and amazing on camera. So, a you know, big smile, bright eyes. You know, it's uh, it's a, it's a good look. Thank you. You too. You could have dead eyes. I don't trust women with dead eyes. Really? I have dead eyes? No, I said you could have dead eyes. Those are oh, the okay. They're not dead as in they don't blink. They just like they just kind of focus in there and just you're like, oh my God, is there a soul behind those eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, I let up, me, huh? Let me ask you this, because I know Zara does some online dating. Do you online date, Adam? No. <laughs> I, I can't, I, I can't, like, I have to meet, I feel like if I get a woman online, if I say what's needs to said to a woman online to get her to meet me, I just catfished her. Like, there's just no, like, I had to set your expectations different. So I find meeting them in person, they're already on board with me. Oh, okay. Where you know, do you go to find the women? Huh? Maybe you don't go places to find women, but oh, I, like I'm always I'm I, I'm doing shows, um, or I'm in the gym. Sometimes I go to church. That's the closest place I'll go. <laughs> yeah. Like I join. I I didn't join. I just started going to this church where like a lot of hot chicks are. I'm like, all right, cool, let's do this. And because um, I wasn't going to church for like a year, so but that's the closest I'll go. And I'm really just going like just to meet women. But it doesn't work. Uh, I'm not God sure. Would be proud. Yeah, I'm not sure you, you save your soul that way. Uh. I, uh, well, I believe all the stuff. No, wait, I mean, I'm not pretending to believe. I believe all the same stuff. Oh, okay. Just when it's coming out of that guy's mouth. Like, I just don't like to go to churches a lot. But if there are lots of hot women, then I can see why you... But see there, right? Right? Boom, no, boom, boom. I, I understand. I, bag. I've... I, I've never been able to go into a bar and pick up women. You know what I mean? I just don't have that knack. But if they, if they, if somebody comes to the club back in the day and they saw me perform, or if I'm in a bar back in the day and I'm a single and I could be joking at the bar and you could, you could kind of show your sense of humor, then, then, then it was much easier to strike up a conversation. If you made them laugh to start with, it kind of brings down those barriers. Uh, yeah, I'm the other way. Like, if if someone sees me perform, I'm like, I'm I don't know. I just I'm not interested. The the further someone is away from knowing what I do, the more comfortable I am. Well, and you know what? I've met comics who have met, uh, ma you know, a male or female in the bar, mm -hmm. and gotten together, and then gotten married, and then then end up getting divorced. Well, you're gone all the time. Well, yeah. you met me in a comedy club. <laughs> you knew what I did. You married me because I was funny. Now you're upset because I'm. And there's a couple of jugglers that I worked with on the ships because I worked about 12 weeks a year on the ships. And one of the jugglers ended up eventually leaving the juggling team because his wife, whom he met on the ship, who was a dancer, said he was traveling too much. Now he's working in a spaghetti factory in Des Moines or something. Yeah, no, like I like I said earlier, you're always you're eventually gonna have to make a choice on stuff. Yeah, or a well, choice to get made for you. Fortunately, my lovely wife, more times than I can count, has has believed in me and my comedy more so than I. She's Good. she's all about following your gift, and so. Uh, Didn't she go on the road with you, Frank? Lord, yes, uh, Adam. We were on the road back starting the day after Christmas in '85. We were on the road for two thousand six hundred and twenty-nine nights in a row with no home. Just comedy club to comedy club, hotel to hotel for seven years and change. Yeah, that's great. And we had a ball. We were, you know, twenty-five to thirty-five years old. 
opened up for back in the day they had comedy condos where you now work yeah. with the comics you live with them yeah uh, foxworthy and ron white and dennis miller and ellen DeGeneres, paul poundstone and kevin neal i mean back in the day when they were just comics seinfeld mm -hmm. so yeah it was a but it takes a special woman or a person to uh you know i mean we, we didn't have a home we um had that forerunner and <laughs> you know if you get upset with your spouse and a forerunner, the only place you have to go is the back seat because you don't have a home. <laughs> so we uh, sleep on the couch. I mean, the back seat. Yeah, the back seat. We worked out some emotional shorthand. We or decided the trunk. The trunk. The yeah, well, that's, that's a whole different story. Uh, that's the, the man cave. The trunk. The, is the man cave. <laughs> <your> man cave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, it was fun. I mean, I would. I wouldn't trade it. It was. Uh, it was you know, it, it, they weren't all comedy clubs. A lot of beer bars and pool halls and honky tonks and drunk idiots screaming, telling some jokes we can dance to. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, the improv <coughs> bones, some of the nice clubs punchlines back in the day. So, how, do you go on the road? I guess that'd be the my yeah. Last when I get the opportunity, I, I drive uh, where I can. I'll drive. I you know, I'll go wherever. In okay. Well, there are quite a few clubs here in the nor yeah, northwest. Huh? There are quite a few um, one-nighters up here in the Northwest. What's uh, Entertainment Max? Zara, isn't that Barry's company? They've got a bunch of one-nighters at casinos and yeah, yeah, Native American casinos. They got a comedy festival coming up here sometime soon. Yeah, uh, I forget what it's called. Didn't you do it one year? Yeah, it was Laughlin Laugh Fest, but yeah. they changed the name and they changed the location. Okay. And you did a, what was it, uh, it was a particular show you did for them. Yeah, Wild Women of Comedy Show. Right. <laughs> yeah, and, and Adam, you know Zara. She's a yeah, wild she's... woman. <laughs> yeah. Loosely defined wild. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No kidding. Doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, <laughs> doesn't do drugs. <laughs> Zara's episode of Girls Gone Wild was rated G. <laughs> 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 She's not drinking decaf. She's drinking the real thing. Woo! <laughs> it's just her, a pixie stick and two books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zara, now I know why you like Adam so much. He's a funny guy. I like yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> well, not only a funny guy, but a nice guy. And and you're nice to my friend Zara, Adam, which means I'll take a bullet for you. Uh, because Zara's genuine, which is real cool. She's she like the f we did a show together. She comes out. She goes, "Can I add you on Facebook?" I'm like, "No, you weirdo." <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to just do it. <laughs> You're supposed to just hey, I just met you, and then send me the obligatory friend request that yeah. I don't accept. I don't accept friend requests from people holding microphones in their pro in their profile pictures. Or something else, and then, so. So then we do another show and I hear her ask somebody else. And I just told her, I was like, that's so weird. That's such a weird question to ask people. And then she, but she just made it make sense because like I get friend requests from people. Like, I don't know. And like, if they had asked me, I would have just said no. And then this weird thing was like, has Adam seen my friend request yet? Yeah, I've seen it. I'm just not declining it or accepting it because you might come into money. And then, <laughs> then I will boom, accept it. Yeah, you, you know, know, the guy, I asked the guy after you if he wanted to be Facebook friends, and he was like, what did he say? He's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, my it's just, God. Cause it, it's the way she asks. It's like, hey, do you want to go steady? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, Adam, this is a woman who tries to meet guys by handing out business cards. Hey, I, I, I try to meet women that way, too. Like, I have business cards, but so I won't knock her. I won't knock her street game. <laughs> Yeah. But as far as just being nice and awesome, that's that's Zara. It's like to me, people are just obligatory. She's not any. It, she's not obligatory. She's a genuine, heartfelt person. So now, what you see is what you get, and I yeah. I do dearly love that about her. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Adam, thanks for being our second guest on the Suicide Prevention Punchline. Fun for me. I wish you all the best. If there's anything, Zara, I can do for you, uh, uh, up to and including for me taking a bullet for you since you're nice to her. Uh, <laughs> not an organ in the fleshy tissue is fine. Right. Um, I'd be delighted to do it for you. And uh, what's, what's on your chest? What's your shirt say? Oh, lucky you. It's just another. I uh, wear stuff. I don't wear blank stuff. 
I see. Uh, yeah, no, just send me the link and I'll I'll definitely promote this and um, yep, it'll be great. It'll be a lot of fun. Well, thanks again for being with us. And again, we find you at Adam Connie Senior. That's sr dot com. Uh huh. Or and Adam Connie Adam Connie Senior. Follow me and listen to my podcast, The Adamant Podcast. The Adamant. That's right. All right. Well, thanks again, man. No problem. You guys take care. See you, Zara. Okay. Bye. Bye.